What I go on, peace, what I go on, it's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. And I was on my way explaining all sorts of nonsense about cards I just pulled out. Today's message is all about soulmates in separation. And I went into this great big spill, I shuffled the cards, I actually got three out and I started talking and my battery died. So I've had to change the battery and start again. So... <laughs> If you are not subscribed yet, why not? Hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video. Because if you've been keeping up with my videos, they get deep, especially yesterday's one. I did one. Was it yesterday or the day before? I did one about black magic. <laughs> and I wasn't thinking about the Friday the 13th. But I did one and it's like, oh my goodness. But the extended to that is actually on Patreon and it gets even deeper. So if you're not one of my Patreons, why not? You need to go over, go to the, the link in the description because I'm doing extra content over there just for my Patreons. I do Patreon Live Fridays. I do all sorts of nonsense, but they get messages. They get connections every single day. So, you've got to hit me up over there. Get the link up. But, I pulled these cards out because my spirit guides are gangster and these are the cards that they gave me. I made you feel like an option. Remember, this is... Remember... Like I said, this is the soulmates in separation. So, this person made you feel like an option. Is that why you walked away? Did they have you in a third party situation or were they just a workaholic? Were they a workaholic? Did they have lots of responsibilities in the background and they just didn't want to talk about it? They just made you feel like that. They just gave you the impression that they had too much going on in the background and they made you feel like an option. But now, somebody's feeling the starvation, the trication. <laughs> Is your person actually feeling the starvation now, now that you've stepped away from this? Have you withdrawn your energy? Is that what it is? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull cards on each and every one of them to find out what the hell is going on with why these cards have come out. Because I've only pulled out three because usually I pull out quite a lot, but I didn't this time. <laughs> but the starvation, the trication. What's going on? Is this person feeling stabbed now? Are they feeling betrayed? Because you stepped away from them. Because I get the impression when I see this card, the starvation card, and I see that I made you feel like an option, but now this person is feeling stabbed, right? It could be you that's been feeling stabbed, like, you know, or betrayed or whatever. But the impression I get from that is this. Now that you've walked away, okay, it's now this person is feeling stabbed because you was the one that, you know... Either they came back or you came back, but this time you've done something different. You block them, you delete them, you karate chop them, you move house, you do all sorts of stuff. And now this person is feeling the starvation. They thought you was going to come back to them. And this is the message I got with the black magic. But with the black magic one, it was somebody set an intention to do something. And they used, they could have used black magic, they could have just used manipulation. But they were expecting you to come back. And the only reason why people get that way is because they've done something to make sure that you do come back. And this is what this is about. The starvation and now feeling it. But guess what? They know that you two are soulmates in some way, shape or form. Oh, what I want, peace, what I want. <laughs> and you can tell I'm hyper today. Spirit, spirit come true, spirit come true. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, I'm going to um, shuffle cards on each and every one of them. Look at the We use these ones. These are the, the legend of the divine tarot. And at the bottom is the king of swords, the logical one. So let's find out. Why did they uh, why did they make you feel like an option? Is Spirit gonna tell us why they made you feel like an option? Let's put these two cards to the side. Because this is gonna get deep now. Holy Spirit, holy angels, why is this card here? Thank you, Spirit. Let us know. Why did this person make you feel like an option? Was it a third party? Was it work? Look! Lovers! Oh, my God! Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. The Tower Monarch with the Lovers! <laughs> Spirit ain't joking! Spirit come true! Spirit come true! Oh, what the God, peeps! <laughs> Spirit ain't wrapping up today! Please tell us, Spirit, why is this option here? Why is this card? Why did this person make you feel like an option? Okay, let's get some cards up. Come on, Spirit, let us know. The trication card has come out. 
Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Bro, I ain't messing about today. <laughs> Can you see these cards? I'll put them up in a minute. But I'm telling you, Sprint is the Sprint. <laughs> you a gangster. Okay, I'm going to tell you why this person made you feel like a um, an option. Okay. Ooh. Already it's come out. That <laughs> this is the trication card. This is the deception card against the high priestess. When you see the high priestess, yes, it could be you. Yes, it's you. It's got the intuition. You know all and see all. This person tried to hide things from you, and this is what the high priestess is all about as well. Hidden intentions, hidden situations, hidden all sorts. This is what the deception, and this is why this person, they actually made you feel like an option because there was things going on in the background. A, they didn't tell you about what was going on in the background, and B, they just gave you that impression that they had things going on in the background. And I'm going to tell you what's going on in the background because Sprint, don't tell us they ain't making it, they ain't playing no games today. Sprint, guys, a gangster, what I want, peace, what I want, because look here now. Here is an empress and the picture. Do you see the picture? This person is pregnant. Do you know what's happened here? Right? For the new beginning card to come out, for this new stable beginning card to come out, what's happened here is, yes, this person made you feel like an option. They had choices and then picked it and picked shit. Okay? <laughs> And they picked an epic shit. And what happened was, maybe this, this person is now pregnant. They realize it's the wrong person, but they already made this stable start with this person and then off the door. They don't know what to do. And look, do you see the person's pregnant and birthing you? And they're literally giving birth. Either they've had this baby or they're actually pregnant right now. Or there's something to do with some new beginning that this person had. Because literally the new per the, the new the ace of coins has come out, which is a new stable action, new stable beginning in something. And they thought they was having a new stable beginning with something. But I mean I know people, but here's you. The boss bitch, the boss man, realizing that this person had something going on in the background because look here. In this pack, it's the faith card, but the faith card in this pack is the Hierophant. But sometimes it's to do with faith, it's to do with wisdom, it's to do with institutions. But in this case, because we're talking about relationships here, this person you realize was married. <laughs> and it's not even so much that the person's married, okay? We all we all do the Joneses, you know what I mean? We always knock, we all knock boots or whatever. But okay, it's the fact that the person didn't tell you is the problem. And they had things going on in the background. Now, if this person did tell you, right, you could have made me come to a regiment and say, alright, let's just do a thing. But they didn't tell you and they gave you the impression that they wanted to be with you or they wanted to have this relationship in all the time they had options going on in the background. It could even be more than one option, but what I'm getting here is there's a specific main bitch. <laughs> there's the main bitch here. <laughs> who's either pregnant, who's a baby, or it could even be their baby mother. This is somebody who's got kids, somebody who's a baby mother, so whatever. Do you know the Queen of Wands could be married or it's an older person anyway as well? Or somebody who's highly mature, somebody who's highly stable, reliable, to the point. This is what that card is all about. And you've just decided to, to, to um, <laughs> take a leap of faith elsewhere and work on your own situation. This is what you've done. And this is why the option card is here. <laughs> But it ain't messing about today. Take the message, collective. <laughs> so we want to know about the starvation now. So let's get these out of the way and find out why the starvation card is here. Why is the starvation card is here, spirit? What is the starvation all about? Please tell us, spirit. Who was the betrayer? Who was betrayed? Oh, what a one piece. What a well. Obviously, if this person made you feel like an option, of course it was a betrayal. Okay. Especially if it's somebody you know for a long time, right? And they pretended like they was one way, but they really was in something else. Okay, so that could be the starvation. But again, even that look. The Queen of Swords and the King of Coins. Do you know what that says to me immediately? That somebody who could possibly be the King of Coins, right? This is the Queen of Swords though. She cut out what don't serve her. She karate cut chop. She give it a one, two. Because this person gave her a starvation, a trication, a juggulation. <laughs> but let's get the cards out and see what spirits 
got to say because already I'm putting these cards and I've seen the story and this happens to me all the time. What's going on? Oh, somebody put a death to a situation is working on their balance. Oh, what I want, peace, what I want. Let me get the cards out. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what I want, peace, what I want. Look, somebody's as slow as a marvel. They see, it's somebody you've known for a while. This is what I'm saying to you. The faith card, the hard fault cards come out again. Let's see what's going on here. Judgment. <laughs> oh, what I want, Pete, what I want. Look, we've got the Knight of Coins here. The Knight of Coins is somebody is as slow as a mouthful. Now, a spirit made judgment on this person. A spirit made judgment on this person about a situation, or is this person making a judgment about this situation? Because you are their happiness. The starvation is here. Maybe I think it's this person who feels the starvation now because they know they made the wrong choice and now they're stuck in a situation and have responsibilities. Maybe their baby mother just had another baby. Maybe it's like it's like they just had to go back to the baby mother and this person's deliberately gonna got pregnant. Or they've got somebody pregnant at the road. Or they have some responsibilities but but, but they realise now they're feeling the hurt, the pain that you felt. But that's karma because them picked and them pick shit. <laughs> so now they're behaving like this night of night of coins, the slowest night in the damn deck and they're trying to make a judgment as to what to do now this is what that's about i mean spirit had something to do with this judgment they cut this they got this took this person out of your life for a reason this is the judgment spirit spirit take you for underneath this person because they were doing some nonsense in the background and now this person is making a judgment they they're, they're remembering the good times with you do you remember the good times with this person i don't know well, was there any good times i don't know but this person is reminiscing they're thinking about the times they had this is somebody that you've known for a while this is somebody that do you know what i mean they're just like thinking about the past they're just thinking about the past and what happened in the past. This could be even be... When you see this card as well, this is about people that are class in your soul tribe. It could possibly be somebody that is, you know, your counterpart. But it's definitely somebody who's close, okay? And this person, because of the starvation they're feeling now, is like they want to come forward to you with this chariot. They want to come forward with a quickness, but do they have the structure and discipline to do this? Minano! But we'll find out because the soulmate card is there. So let's find out what's going on next, people. Because look, here is the Hierophant. And here is... Is it that this person wants to come forward to you now because they realise you are the one? This is the Hierophant here. Do they want to depart? Do you need to depart some wisdom to this person? Or do they want to? Or do they, are they going to tell you about this marriage they're having? This marriage that they're in? Or this long-term commitment that they're in? And they needed to tell you... They should have told you that in the first place. It would have saved so much headache and pain. But obviously, if this person is a player... Because we saw the Knight of Swords come out the bottom of the deck, right? If they're a player, or they're a professional playboy... Or they're a community dick, community panani... Who has things going on in the background, okay... Do you know, they're not going to tell you that. They don't want to tell you that. But what it is now, they know that you're intuitive. They know that you have the intuition and now they need to come forward and tell you the truth because they really want this 11-11 because they know that you are the soulmate which leads into the soulmate card. Oh, what I want, peace, what I want, my spirit guys, a gangster. What I want today, people. <laughs> I don't know, but let's let's talk about this soulmate card now. You're gonna have to excuse me. I'm still in my dressing gown <laughs> doing this. I'm in my dressing gown doing this. But I thought I was have this urge to do this today, and I don't know if I am gonna do an extension. I don't know, but um, what I might do is get some more cards, get some more of my soulmate in separation cards, and find out what the hell's going on there because. There's a soulmate card now. Why is the soulmate card here? At the bottom of the deck is judgment. Let's flip some cards. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give us a message about soulmates. What is this message about soulmates you want to give us, Spirit? What is it about the soulmates that we need to know? Please tell us, Spirit. Is it this person wants to marry you in secret? They want to be with you. And they made the wrong choice. And look, look, <laughs> I'm telling you, 
the page of swords, them I want you. And the page of cups, I want to come forward and give you a message. They want to come back and give you some small emoji gestures. They need to apologize about the soulmates because they recognize what this is. They recognize what it is. But the question is, are you going to take it? Spit? Are you going to take it collective? Is that what you want from this person? Me no, no. But this is deep. So let's find out what this soulmate situation is about. Look, somebody's up in their head because they haven't tried to have strength. I want to go on, I want to go on. Let's pick out some cards. Why is the soulmate card here, spirit? Yeah, the soulmate card is here because somebody needs to tell you some truths. This is the clarity cards come out. And the, and the, the 11, 11 card come out again. And the watch you card I come out. Soulmates, look. This king of, this king of Pentacale. The Emperor of Watagua, please, Watagua! Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is deep, and at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. Somebody's trapped in their mind. We might go there in a minute, but the first two cards we've got here is this person who happens to be a King of Coins. You know what I'm getting as well? The reason why this person gave you a starvation as well, they were deceptive, because they were hiding a lot from you. And, a, and one of those things they could have been hiding from you is that they behave like a mean, selfish person to the point they was mean to themselves. But in reality, this person had money and they were testing you to see if you were after their money or not. And this is what it was with this person. They have been deceived and de they had some deception and deceived all this time. It's one of two things. Either they were testing you to see what your character was really like and or they were really the player from the Himalayas and they were just trying to take what they can take. But either way, this person needs to come forward with some clarity and some truth now. And this person is your soulmate. If you are in doubt, <laughs> whoever this is and I'm telling this story and it resonates with you. Now, don't take on the story if it doesn't resonate with you. Trust and believe. If the story resonates with you, you will understand it. But if it does not resonate with you, don't take it on because... You know, I get people in my comments like making comments like they're deadly serious. And they have to remember these messages are for the collective. They're not for just individuals. So please, if it doesn't resonate, there'll be other tarot readers out there that their story will resonate to. Not that I don't want you to disappear, but I'm telling you, to be fair, these are just general messages. And if it resonates with you, it resonates with you. If it don't, it don't. Maybe the next one will. You know, I do all sorts of stories here, but it's usually to do with the twin flame, long, strong connection journey. Okay, so anyway, this person needs to come forward to you. Okay, they need to tell you some truths, either about what they're doing behind your back or whatever. They need to come with some clarity and truth, basically, because what they really want is to be the emperor in your life. And what this 1111? We've already seen the empress come out, but that empress is to do with the baby mother. <laughs> But the emperor's come out now, but we see when a match comes out within a spread, it's usually a divine connection, okay? But what I've got here is, is this 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 person's got an 11-11, and I'm seeing another story developing here, okay? Now, what I'm getting here as well is, this person wants the home life with you, because they see you as this stable, reliable person, and maybe they are a stable, reliable person. They were just testing you to see where you're coming from. Because what we've got here is the page. Now, there's two stories here. I've got the page of swords and the page of wands. Now, when you see pages, it's either immature energy or it's children. Now, possibly this person sees you as a nurturing person and wants you to help them look after their children. They're testing you to see what it is that you have what passions you have, what you're like, who you are. And they're testing you, okay? But they're not telling you they're testing you. They're not telling you about the picnic them in the background. They're not telling you about the situations they have going on in the background. They're not telling you any of that, right? That is the first scenario. Maybe this person has got children in the background and they're worried because maybe they've got custody of these children. Because I did a TikTok today and the courthouse came out. Do you know what I mean? So they couldn't even be related to it. But... The second story I'm seeing here is these are two mature energies, two mature, mature gestures. The first one is the Page of Swords, who's watching you, who's watching you closely. Um, this card keeps coming out. It's like an obsession with them. They're watching you closely because they really want to take an immature action towards you. Maybe they want to come forward and offer you a date or they want to take some kind of action or they want to have a conversation or some kind of action. But... As we've seen at the bottom of the deck, this person is up in their head because they see that there's no, there was no give and take previously. Look at this. Oh 
my God. Look, we've got somebody up in their head. They're worrying about the giving and take, the, the giving and receiving. They know that they did something in the background that was imbalanced. They behaved in their devil energy. But at the same time, this that, that devil, when the devil comes out, they're obsessive and about something. They've had problems in the past where they behaved this way. That devil energy. And maybe even they've got little bit addictions that they know that you wouldn't approve of because you're not that type of person. So they're up in their head about their imbalances. When I see imbalances, there's somebody who could be mentally imbalanced even. When these two cards are together, this is why the devil card is here. They've got mental imbalances. Oh my God, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Let me look at these cards, good. Oh, what that one, please, what that one. Let me tell you something. This person, when you see this card, this is somebody who's trapped in their mind. Okay, they're trapped in their head. It's a trap that they can get out any time with willpower. And what it is, whatever it is in the background to this person, it's imbalanced. It's a whole new story in itself. But this person is your soulmate. Let me tell you something else as well. When this soulmate card comes out, when people see soulmates, twin flames, whatever, twin flames is actually a rare phenomenon. I don't know if people don't... Uh, people don't seem to realise that twin flames are actually a rare phenomenon. According to the Bible, or according to the doctrine, they said it's 144,000 people that will eventually be ascending. Do you understand what I'm saying? And even the Bible, Bible quotes in the Old Testament, 144,000 elders will be ascending at some point it's the same kind of doctrine i don't i don't know if i believe in that but i do believe in strong soul connections soul ties okay people can literally tie can trap you to them but sometimes it really is soul ties it's people that you've known from a previous life that who are in your soul tribe okay people that are in your soul tribe that you vibe with no matter what lifetime you're in your that you find each other that's how it go. This person is a soulmate that you've known from a previous life. It's like the first time you met this person, it's like you knew them from somewhere else. It was like deja vu. That is what you call a soulmate. Somebody that you vibe with on a level that you're ride or die. Or you think you're a ride or die. But things happen to people along the way. They have experiences and lessons to learn along the way that turns people bitter and miserable. And, 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 and do you know what I mean? And it causes imbalances. And this is what I'm saying to you. This person, whoever you're dealing with, sometimes, I'm not saying this is for all people as well, and this is a soulmate, they have, they've got, they're trapped mentally in their mind, they have imbalances, and it's causing addictions, and it's causing obsessions, and it's causing all sorts of things. And you know, it's simple, it's a simple thing as going to get some medication, going to see a counsellor, doing something of that level, that will help this person, because they will see things in a completely different light. Do you know what I mean? And this is what it is. And sometimes when you think these people are bipolar, it's not that they're bipolar. They just need medication or they need counselling. That's all it is. And then you will see a different side to this person. And that's what it is sometimes. But they need to, they need to want to get the help. Do you know what I mean? And when I see the... I keep seeing this as obsession card come out. And this is somebody who's obsessed with the situation. But don't want to come forward because of their imbalances. And they know their imbalance. And they're not doing anything about it. I could keep going. That is specific for somebody. That is specific. But I'm telling you, these things happen. So let me just take out a few more cards. And I might... I don't know if I'm going to do an extended to this. But I, if I do, I will put the link in the description box below but like i said previously the twin flame card has come up and i'd love to discuss this discuss this subject on one of my lives because um i've i've found that so much information it's like only 10 percent of from what i understand and don't quote me it's not doctrine but for what i understand it's only a small percentage of people actually end up with their twin flame who is a true twin flame okay most of the time, twin flames or soulmates are here to teach you lessons. It's, they're here to teach you experiences about things that have happened to you. And it could be that's karma that's come from previous life. Do you know when you're an ascended one or an awakened one, whatever, you're here to break ancestral chains. And just you coming out of a cycle that you've been going through for years. It could have been a cycle that happened in previous life, previous karmas. But by just you stepping away from that karma has broken that chain for your family. Trust and believe. 
okay? Just you being an awakened one and doing nothing other than your everyday thing and helping where you can. If people need help and you can help them, help them. If you see somebody along the street who happens to fall over, pick them up. If somebody needs help across the road, help them. Because you could be breaking ancestral chains and you don't even know it. And I'm preaching. <laughs> I'm preaching now. But let me tell you, this is just, this is a rare phenomenon, okay? Anyway, why did you trust me? Do you see what I mean? The starvation, the trication has come out. From the beginning, we saw the deception card. This person deceived you, okay? And they say, why did you trust me? You trusted this person. And this is, I got a message in TikTok today. I actually, just because you have history of people doesn't mean that you must trust them. And I've had to learn, I'm, me personally, I had to learn that the hard way. Just because you've known somebody for a long time, it doesn't mean you have to trust them. And this is what this person said to you. Why did you trust me? Because this person knew that it had imbalances and you had problems. And they knew they were bipolar. And one minute you, you, you're you laughing kiki. And then the next minute they're, they're, they're your worst enemy. And it's because they've got imbalances they need to take care of. And that's all it is. Uh, uh, look. I come to you in your, I come to you in your dreams. Oh my God, I was talking about this in the last video. This is about people doing energetic ties. This is about the dark magic, the darkness. They, some of these people know how to get in there energetically. They know about the spirituality, but they choose to hide it. And they know how to get into your dream. Oh my God. <laughs> Somebody's saying no, loving you is easy. Saying someone's saying loving you is easy. <laughs> oh my god! I tied you to me. Do you see the dark magic again? Somebody tie you to them, they tie you to them energetically. No matter how much you're releasing on your side, they still tie you. You still think about this person every single day. They're still in your energy, they're still in your energy space, and you're still dreaming about this person. And like I said previously, if you are getting look, I was I was in devil energy. I was in devil energy. It came out though, didn't it? <laughs> the grass was not greener. This is what I said to you from the beginning with this, the previous story. I'm <laughs> this is so mad. This is so mad. I said with the previous woman, it said when I said um, I treated you like an option. The baby mother's in play. The the karmic is in play. The somebody was in play, and they thought they had it greener on the other side, and it wasn't greener on the. You know, they they it wasn't greener on the other side. Then picked it, then picked shit, <laughs> and that's what happened there. The grass was not greener on the other side. Trust and believe. <laughs> I wanted to trap you. This is going back to the video I did the other day. I'm, I'm not going taking this in film. I'm going to leave it there because that's going deep. I'm going to do an extension to this. I'm going to take this further and flick some more cards in reference to what this person wants to say. So, if you have not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and alert bell. So, you know when I'm going to do another video? Because you can see they get deep and I can go into it. Spirit of talk to them. Spirit of talk. So, I have to get it out. But... Um, if you want the extended to this, please come and join me on Patreon because all of my extended are there. Um, I only leave them there for my patrons. Even if it's one person, they would have got the message and they resonate with it. They would have got the message. So please come and join me on Patreon because that is where the action is at. And I might this weekend go live on a, a pop up. I'm going to pop up on some people. <laughs> I'm going to pop up with my Patreons because... We, I did a Patreon last night and it got cut off. And we was going into colour therapy. I've got these cards, colour therapy. But anyway, we're not going there. <laughs> we're not going there. Please join me on Patreon more than anywhere else. For a price of a coffee per month, you're getting all the extras. You're getting the extended. You're getting whatever. I, I am big on research. I've got things on there about Twin Flames, Soulmates. I've got things there about Angel Numbers. I've got things about 21 ways to figure out how if you're going for an enlightenment, if you're going for an awakening. I've got things on there about whether you're a light worker. It goes deep. <laughs> and I've got extra worksheets in reference to card interpretations. It keeps going. I'm doing this on a weekly. I'm doing reviews. All sorts of nonsense. Anyway, come and join me. Nam your heart ring and cure. And please come and join me for the extra because I I'm going deep now. Take care. <laughs>